Palestinians say they are ready to leave the ceasefire talks in Cairo. After truce disintegrates, Israel's Gaza operation enters day 34. Tayyip Erdogan vows to become Turkey's first elected president. And U.S. launches military campaign in Iraq to fight the Islamic State. Shalom and welcome to the Jerusalem Post News. Today is Sunday, August 10th, and here are your top stories. As Egypt continues to attempt to broker a ceasefire, Israel and Hamas remain far apart on terms for any enduring halt to Gaza hostilities. Israel said they refused to send back officials to the Egyptian broker talks in Cairo as long as rocket attacks continue to pound the south. Leaders of the Palestinian delegation threatened on Saturday to quit the talks unless Israel reversed that stance. Hamas spokesman Sami Abu Zuri said he saw, quote, very slim chances of success in renewing last week's 72-hour ceasefire. Egypt was reportedly hoping to save the talks with a compromise deal that included the opening of border crossings between Gaza and the Jewish state, with other more contentious issues to be discussed in the future after tensions are eased. At the weekly cabinet meeting this morning on the 34th day of Operation Protective Edge, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu acknowledged that the operation in Gaza is far from over. <laughs> עד השלמת יהודו, השבת השקט לתקופה ממושכת. אמרתי בתחילת המבצע וגם לאורך כל הדרך, זה ייקח זמן ודרוש אורך רוח. Hamas warned over the weekend that it would continue to attack Israel as long as its demands were not fulfilled, which includes an end to the siege and the release of prisoners. Once the 72-hour ceasefire formally ended and Hamas fired rockets into Israel, Prime Minister Netanyahu and Defense Minister Moshe Ya'alon instructed the IDF to respond forcefully. Tayyip Erdogan may become his country's first elected president as Turks go to the polls today, fulfilling his dream of what he calls a new Turkey. His opponents say it will be an increasingly authoritarian and polarized nation. A victory for Erdogan would steal his place in history after more than a decade as prime minister in which Turkey has emerged as a regional economic power. Many of his critics say his roots are in political Islam and he seeks to steer away from the nation's secular foundation. Erdogan has been vocally critical of Israel since the IDF's military campaign in the Gaza Strip began a month ago. During political rallies, the Turkish Prime Minister likened Israel's actions to those of the Nazi regime. After ordering airstrikes against assets of the Islamic State over the weekend, U.S. President Barack Obama says the U.S. is prepared for a long fight against extremist Sunni terrorists in Iraq. Nearly a dozen targets were successfully eliminated by U.S. forces on Friday, as Obama administration officials outlined two initial priorities in its new military campaign, the protection of the U.S. consulate and the prevention of a genocide against the Yazidi people now huddled on a mountaintop threatened by slaughter from fighters of the Islamic State. The Iraqi government welcomed the new U.S. role, as did the semi-autonomous Regional Council of Iraqi Kurdistan, which has been fighting against an aggressive Islamic State advance into its territory in recent days. That's all for today. Don't forget to go to jpost.com and check out our Facebook page for the latest on these developing stories. Until tomorrow, Shalom from the Jerusalem Post Studio.